We've been out jigging this morning and Magecraft have such a huge range of jig power lures. The guys were asking me what the differences are and when to use the lure where. The first range we're going to look at is a Magecraft Micro Series. Now, a lot of people make the mistake in Australia of calling that micro around that like 60 gram, 40 gram, which you use for snapper. Realistically, in a Japan where all these jigs come from, a 1.5 to 15 gram is considered micro. There's three different types in the Jig Para Micro Series. There's a swim, a slim, and a short. The Jig Para Micro Swim is more of a cast and retrieve style. Throw it out and it just has a wobble action as it comes back to you. Next one is the Jig Para Micro. That's just a standard flutter down one, not too wide, just goes down normally. And then you have the Jig Para Slim. Longer profile, has a bit more of a wider action. This Jig Para series is perfect for all estuary, freshwater and empowerment species in Australia. They're perfect for species like brim, bass and flat end. The next series we're going to look at is the Jig Para series and it's the core of the major craft range. Most commonly used for snapper and those sort of inshore species. There's three different types. There's a Jig Para Slow, the Jig Para Short, and the Tungsten. The Jig Para Short and Tungsten have the same action, which is a slow flutter down, but the difference being, Tungsten being a heavier metal, you can have a lot smaller profile bait for the same weight. The Jig Para Slow is more of an erratic, wider wobble lure, and you retrieve a different method. So to retrieve a slow, instead of that quicker action you typically see jigging guys do, you'd lift the rod tip and drop back down. It's designed for that flutter down. The Jig Para series all come rigged and they're great for species in the tropics from reef fish through to a snapper down south. The Jig Para Vertical series have three different types of jigs. There's the Jig Para Slow, the Jig Para Short and the Jig Para Long. The Jig Para Vertical Slow has a big wide erratic action which makes it have a very slow fall rate. The Jig Para Vertical Short and the Jig Para Vertical Long, the difference between these two is the Long has a bit more of a slide action before it settles and then flutters down whereas the short will flutter and drop down quicker. When using the Jig Para Vertical Series, you've got to think about the target species and how reactive they are. Think about the long and the short for the kingfish, AJs and sambos out there. And for those slower fish like the snapper, reds, pearl perch, that sort of stuff, think about that slower fall rate of the Jig Para Vertical Slow. The Vertical Series comes unrigged, so you get to choose your own different assist hook to put on it, depending on what you're targeting. When looking at jigs, one of the most common things you get asked is what weight to use where. A real basic way to look at that is typically you go 10 grams per 10 meters. So if you're in 50 meters water, start at 50 grams and depending on current and winds and drift, you go heavier or lighter. All the Jig Para series comes with a five layer coating, which makes them strong and durable, perfect for all species around Australia. Go into store now and check out the large range of Majorcraft Jig Para jigs. <laughs>